What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Stan of SJ Square Photography, bring you back another tutorial video today. Today's tutorial is gonna be all about, I'm gonna show you how to color grade your image. Now, before we get started, let me go ahead and get this out the way. I have partnered with Soundstripe. That's where I get all my lovely music at for my YouTube videos. If you enjoy my music and you would like to try them out, hit that link down in the description below to text them out. And hopefully you'll like them and you use their services. Now, enough with that. Let's go ahead and get back into this tutorial today. Once again, it's gonna be all about color grading. I'm gonna show you how to color grade your image once you're finally done or in the, in this technique can actually be used at any point of your editing uh, in the beginning and afterwards doesn't really make a difference. I like using it after I'm completely done with everything from retouching to everything. And that's when I like using my color grading uh, technique. Once again, I really don't use this a lot because I usually have everything set in stone, but sometimes I do have to go in there and color grade it just in case I change my mind, which I'm prone to do a lot anyway. So we're gonna start off with this image right here. Beautiful photo also. I also done this with an Accord 300. Please check that video out. I'm gonna leave it a link at the top. Please tap on that to check out this video with her and my review on the 300 uh, millimeter lens on this. But anyway, right here, as you can see, you can kind of see it gets like a little greenish tint to this, um, to this image. And as you can also see why, because we're in the field with a lot of greenery. So her skin is a little bit, has a little green tint to it. So in order to get to this, to get remove that green tint and then get it to this point right here, let me go ahead and cut on these adjustments real quick. Now, as you can see, very little adjustments, very, very minor, but it also takes away that green tint and gives her a little bit of color and it makes it seem like she's not so pale. And this is what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them off again, as you can see with the green tint, and then I'm gonna cut on my color grading. And there it is. So let's just go ahead and get this started right here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. Now, as you can see with those total adjustments, what we're gonna really be using is gonna be using the color balance, color balance and select color. So let's just go ahead. You wanna click over here on the adjustments. Then you wanna go down to color balance. Now, once again, this is all subjective. You don't really have to do it my way or this way, but it's also subjective of how you feel like you want that image and to grade that image uh, at the time. So like I said, I'm, I'm doing it because I wanna get rid of the green tint in this photo here. So I'm just gonna come down. And what you really gotta do is just start messing around with things. I know it's a lot of green, so I'm gonna start here and add a little magenta to it. Um, also, I think I'm gonna raise up and go with the reds. And this is all in the mid-tone. So I'm, all I'm done doing is changing all the, the color that's in the mid-tone in this image. Uh, this is why this color grading skills, a lot of this color balance technique or adjustment is really crucial because it only changes in those specific mid-tone shadows or highlights. Uh, so now let me see, I'll put a little blue tint to it as well. All right, then let's go to the highlights. Same thing here. I'm going to add some more red to it. I know we're gonna stay away from the green, so we're gonna go just to tab it to magenta, and then we're gonna to go to bluish. Now I think right there, that looks good right there by itself, so therefore I think I'm gonna go ahead and just start off to the next one, which is selective color. So I'm gonna start with selective color, go down to adjustment, and find selective color. Once you find that, and now I know I wanna put a little bit more pop into her skin tone. So therefore I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna deal with the red channel and then I'm gonna go ahead and mess with the blacks first. Now it's like how the blacks is doing to the red. So I'm just gonna stop it probably right there on 40. Let's see, maybe add some cyan. Let's see what that does actually kind of brightens up that red just a tad bit. So we're gonna add, we're gonna add just a tad bit of that to kind of brighten her up. So that looks good to me right there. And then right after that, we're gonna to go to the yellows as well. I'm gonna start with the blacks first. Once again, I'm really liking what the blacks do. I'm gonna put that down to 20 again. And then let's see what the yellows, see if I add some cyan. That's really kind of making her pop or I can bring it down. Once again, this is all subjective. So maybe I might leave it up just a tad bit. And there, that's how I really usually use my color grade. Now let's just go ahead and cut this on and off and I can show you the adjustment we did. 
So let's cut both of these off. As you can see right here with the gray tint, and now we come here with the adjustments right here. And as you can see, now we have this nice and enjoyable photo right here. So let's go ahead and do another example. We're gonna go to this photo right here. Same thing with this same situation right here. As you can see, I cut my color balance on. This photo right here just really needs just a color balance to it. So therefore, I'm gonna cut that on. This is what the photo is like. I made this warm on warm, very warm on purpose, but now, you know, I kind of want to go with a more cooler side. And also, I know what you're thinking that you could probably use the white balance adjustment, which you kind of can, but you really kind of can't. I'm gonna cut this on and off just to show you so I can give you an example. This is what white balance. And then this is with the color balance. Now, technically it does the same thing, but it kind of don't do the same thing. With color balance, you have more control about where you want to balance the color at. That's the reason why it separates it in the highlights, shadows, and midtones for you. So you can adjust those certain channels of the colors in those certain areas. So that's the reason why color balance is a lot more powerful and it's going to, you're going to be a lot more precise if you use color balance instead of white balance. Um, well, I'm going to do it one more time. That's what white balance and there to so a color balance. Like I said, color balance is a lot better technique to use when you want to color grade your, your, your photo. So it's the same thing here. It's all subjective. I just went ahead and just showed you this because I want to show you the difference between white balance and color balance. So this is the, 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 all the adjustments I did on this photo to get it to this nice, cool and crisp photo instead of the nice, you know, warm color. Like I like, I like the warm and I also like it nice and cool. So I can go different, different ways and different ways with this situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more. All right, here's another photo with the model for Jennifer. Now, as you can see here, it's the same exact thing. Let's just go ahead and start with this one. Again, so you just really gotta get in there and you gotta play with these different channels in the different sections and areas of the photo to really get color balance the way you want to color balance. This is another one that I had really, 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 really warm. And I really wanted to tone it down and bring it down just a little bit. So therefore, that's what I went ahead and did. I just went ahead and just brung that tone down of the other being so warm and kind of put it in, in, in the middle almost. And then I went ahead and added on a vibrance just to bring down the saturation just a tad bit, as you can see down here. And I went ahead and just brung it down just a tad bit because I do like this photo really, um, you know, saturated right here. So I just want to bring it down just a tad bit, not not overplay it and not give it that muted look. So this is it for this week tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, this is a technique that I use sometimes on some of my photos. Sometimes I really don't need to use this technique. And but when I do and when I want to color balance it, when I when I change my mind, because sometimes it does take me a while to you know, even edit a photo, so two or three days. So I may like it that first day, and then two or three days later when I'm coming back to it, I may not like, the, you know, what I did did with it, and that's when the color balance kind of comes in for play with me. So I really hope you enjoyed this week's tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share my this video to help me out. And into the next video, to the next tutorial video, peace.